Welcome to this educational video from the SAM Academy. My name is Christian Marquardt from Science and Motion. In this video I will talk about PUT planes. The PUT planes in SAM PUTLAB describe the motion of the PUTA and PUTA phase rotation relative to circular motion planes. The planes are calculated based on true 3D data as captured by SAM PUTLAB and a section of plus minus 25 centimeters or plus minus 10 inches is considered to calculate the best fit of this data into a circular plane. The professional report displays PUT plane data relative to impact. In red you see the face plane, the bullet and the vertical stripe indicate the center of this plane in blue you see the swing plane and the center of the swing plane and in gray you see the shaft plane. This data is all relative to impact and we show additional graphs for the time course of several putt plane parameters inside of the impact zone, in example for angles or for radius. The putt planes and the data is also shown in the 3D software. We have a static view and a dynamic view. In the static view all the data is relative to impact. Even if I scroll through the data with a slider the planes are stable because they only display the planes at impact. If I switch to dynamic mode the planes will change relative to the actual position of the putter while scrolling through the stroke. Now per definition the swing plane corresponds to the motion of the sweet spot of the putter inside of a 3D plane. And if this swing plane is tilted then a vertical view will eye over the ball. Down to the path will show some arc as you can see also on the right side. And the more this plane is tilted, the more the path will appear to be arced against the target line. Now for a neutral putting stroke where you rotate the putter only around a stable pivot in your neck for example, the path will appear arced from this bird eyes view with the eye over the ball. But if you look at your path from within the swing plane, as you can see here on the right side, the path will appear straight. So we might now say that the arc you see relative to the target line is some kind of optical illusion because the eye is outside of the swing plane. By definition the face plane corresponds to the rotation of the putter face inside of a 3D plane. If this face plane is tilted then a vertical view will show opening and closing of the putter face against the target line which is absolute rotation, which is what you see down here. The more the face plane is tilted, the more the face will rotate against the target line. Now in the same way, from the bird eyes view with the eye over the ball, the putter will open and close, so there will be a rotation against the target line, but if you look from within the face plane onto your putter face, there is no more rotation for a neutral putting stroke. And again we can say that absolute rotation is also some kind of optical illusion because the eye is outside of the plane. Now for a putting robot where the face is coupled in a way to the path that it is always square, then the amount of absolute rotation will be exactly the same as the amount of arc against the target line. Still relative rotation can be zero. But the putter can also be additionally rotated around the shaft, creating more or less rotation. 
Now, if relative rotation is introduced, then the swing plane and the face plane will no longer match up if the face is opening or closing by rotating the putter around the shaft. In this case, we see that the putter face is closing relative to path. So path is still straight, but face plane is opening and significantly closing. And as a consequence, the face plane will be rather flat at 39 degrees and the swing plane for the path will be still very much upright with 81 degrees. We also can have a look at the shaft plane. However, the shaft plane is corresponding more to the displacement of the shaft and corresponds more to aspects of mechanics of the stroke, not necessarily on face rotation or on path. On the left side, you see a player with a very strong forward press as the center of shaft rotation is on the left side of the player, but you see a very stable pivot throughout the stroke showing that the putter is moved in a very stable mechanical way. On the right side, you see that the shaft pivot is neutral in the center of the player, so no forward press or back lean, but you see a very much fluctuating pivot indicating that there is some instability in moving the putter. As said, the shaft plane does not directly correspond to putt planes as grip, hand position and hand angles can individually vary a lot and can influence the shaft plane. However, in a putting robot, these planes can also be exactly the same what you see here on the right side. For a putting robot, the radius and the pivot and the center of the planes can be exactly the same. In contrast, on the left side, you see a player with very different plane characteristics. The radius varies a lot and the center is at different positions. In the middle, you see a tour player with a more stable condition of the putt planes. Now, in summary, we can say that the swing plane corresponds to path and arc. The face plane corresponds to the putter face rotation both against the target line. For a neutral stroke, both planes are rather similar. Arc and absolute rotation are then only relative to the target line and are the same. Now, the more swing plane and face plane start differing, the more the putter face is uncoupled from path, resulting in relative rotation. And the shaft plane represents more the mechanical aspects of the putter displacement and does not necessarily correspond to the other putt planes.